In America's Motor Show at the New York Coliseum, they have just a job for the busy executive with built-in secretary, typewriter, filing system and everything. Less practical but decorative is this mascot on the DeSoto stand. A Ford with a retractable hard top is a popular exhibit. Other eye catchers are the Buick and the Corvette. Easy to see why Britain has to fight for those export markets. Key West Naval Station, Florida, President Eisenhower makes an informal dockside tour, fulfilling his doctor's prescription of mild exercise. With him is his brother, Milton, in shorts. Looking healthier and relaxed, the President is ready to return to Washington and resume, for the first time since his illness, the full burden of office. One-eighth as hot as the sun are test in New York. Looking like a man from Mars, the demonstrator moves slowly into a huge oven carrying several sticks of wood. The sticks smolder in the 1200 degree heat and burst into flame. Steel wool starts to melt, but the aluminized suit reflects the intense heat. A business suit is aflame in seconds, but the demonstrator is unaffected. Light in weight, the aluminized suit permits rescuers to move and work in high temperatures and never feel the heat. A B-50 bomber carries the rocket plane high aloft over Muroc Dry Lake, California for its speed run with a full fuel load. Lieutenant Colonel Frank Everest lowers himself into the cockpit of the Bell X-2, which is released from the bomber to begin its history-making flight. Rocket engines roaring the test vehicle for spaceships of the future reaches the unheard of speed of 1,900 miles per hour. That's faster than a cannon shell. Special metals and tempered glass keep pilot and plane from burning up during the meteoric plunge through space. Skids enable Colonel Everest to set her down safely on the desert after having flown faster than any man in history. as the crisp, cool land it's brewed in. The beer that captures for you the wonderful refreshment of this enchanted Northland. Hams. Mmm. Hams. Crisp, clean cut to the taste. Refreshing. Hits of lakes and sunset breezes. Hands. 
refreshingly yours from the land of sky blue water. People say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load the 16 ton. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. You know I can be found. Sit home all alone. If you can't come around, at least please tell the phone. Don't be cruel to who hard is true. Baby, if I made a man for something I might have said, please don't forget my past. The future looks bright ahead. Don't be cruel to who hard is true. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you I'm thinking of. Well, I never felt more like singing the blues, cause I never thought. I want to begin by saying that we love you guys and you have lots of memories with me and I remember when I was little and you guys would be at Two Sisters Lake and we'd be out on the boat or fishing and all that fun stuff that went along with it and we'd be at your house and, and uh, I see Uncle Dave in the yard working and people went around in his shop and I was just a little one so I didn't get involved too much in that but uh, we have a lot of fond memories and, and then Doug and I we were married and and we still continue to go up there in snowmobile and do stuff like that. Well, and I think it was about 1985 that we started coming up for the first time, came up as a whole family and went to Ike Walton Lake. And I remember meeting you for the first time and hearing a lot of stories. You know, of course, they were bad from from uh, my father-in-law. But, you know, I found you were a pretty good, decent guy. And, uh, yeah, your wife, well, <laughs> we've, we, yeah. we've found a way to get along. But I'm just kidding. We have always had really good times coming up, whether we're going to the Island Cafe or out to Mama's. Um, but some of the greatest memories, um, we're going out golfing. We really had a good time either, whether it was going to Pex or going down to Wildwood and uh, just having a good time uh, out there enjoying God's creation of the Northwoods and getting to know you so much better. And we just had been blessed with so many great years with you and uh, we really, really appreciate it. And it's, we're grateful to be able to come up maybe once a year and go to the overpriced Island Cafe and uh, get something to eat with you. Well, we're gonna try Perkins with you. Our favorite memory of Uncle Dave and Aunt Dorothy is snowmobiling, of course, in Minocqua. And when Joe and I started dating, many, 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 yeah, many years ago, we weren't married ago. yet, but we were dating. We were at their house for dinner, 
And After a long day of snowmobiling, we were out all day having an absolute ball. We came back home to their place. And she had a big pot of chili. And Joe was like, oh, I don't eat chili. I don't want any chili. And I'm like, Joe, this is excellent chili. You'll love it. You'll love it. I promise you'll love it. Ever since then, chili is his thing in the I wintertime. I love chili. Yeah. Thank you so much for introducing me to chili. I absolutely love it, <laughs> and I do eat it a lot. So we just wanted to say happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We love you both. Have had many, many great times together, many years of just unbelievable memories, and uh, thanks for everything, and happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. And thanks for the chili tip, too. <laughs>
tying that saucer. Tying the saucer to his Behind the snowmobile and going around the lake. And just wiping everything <laughs> out. In that time, Uncle Ken used to come up there and rent that cottage for a week or two weeks. And uh, we all went zip sliding. And I remember Uncle Dave, you lost your swimming suit. <laughs> You said, where's my swimming suit? And we all laughed, and Uncle Ken was, he laughed so hard he peed in his pants. And <laughs> yeah, that was a great time. You people are the best. Yep, yep, yep. We had a lot of good memories, a lot of good times. Everything. Jack and I uh, water skiing, yep. doing a tandem. We tried to crisscross. And uh, Jack got the rope tied around his ankle and got pulled across the lake. <laughs> Pretty funny. He had the rope burned around his leg. And you showed us, you told us how to uh, swallow ski, one ski. Yeah. He, he learned, we learned from them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, those were the good old days. Good days. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you very much. Yep. You're Happy the best. anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. That's all, folks.